Say, Bergen. Yes, Charlie. Did, did you hear what happened to my old pal, W.C. Fields? No, Charlie, I didn't. What happened? Well, I heard he was arrested for sticking his nose out the window during a blackout. No, no, please. <laughs> Got it out. Got it. Don't push me around, partner. Don't push me. You know, I'm packing plenty of iron. Is that so? Yeah, and I got a date with my gal, the sweetheart of two bar rest. Is that so? Yeah. Lana Turner. Is that so? Yeah. Well, Lana. <laughs> yes, Edgar. Uh, uh, Charlie, he's been giving me this Western talk ever since he saw you in Honky Tonk. Yoo hoo! That's for me. Here I come, honk, honky tonk. Beep, beep. <laughs> oh, so you're a rootin' tootin' cowpuncher, eh, Charlie? Yeah. I'm an old hand at bulldozing. I'm an old cow catcher. Uh, 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 I mean, a cattle rustler. Razzler. Rizzler. <laughs> Rosler. What are you saying? I don't know. I'm talking bow legged. <laughs> well, I don't think he's kidding, Edgar. He looks pretty tough to me. Tough? You may not believe this, gal. You're a fool if you do. But I'll never forget the time I was running the Carry em Out Feet First Saloon. Where was this? This was in Martin Deck, Nevada. That was a tough place, real tough place, mighty tough. Had to be plenty quick on a draw bar. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was a goodly summer evening and a balmy crowd was there. I was leaning up against the snack bar when in walked a beautiful damsel. She fascinated me. I wondered who she was, so I said, Hello, Pippin. Hello, Slippin. <laughs> Say, are you the proprietor here? No, just the owner. <laughs> where are you from, stranger? Well, it ain't important where I'm from. What I want to know is where I'm at. You're in the wide open stasis, is it? I thought so, as soon as you opened your mouth. Oh, you noticed it, eh? Yeah. Try to swallow a fist last night. Yeah. <laughs> What's your name, gal? Irma Trude. Say, do you mind if I stay here a spell? Oh, no. Intrude, Aaron, the truth. Intrude. <coughs> What's that you're talking? That's a sawed-off shotgun. Did you saw it off yourself? No, Mom, I bit it all. <laughs> <laughs> Bing! A bullseye. Say, that's pretty good. How are you on clay pigeon? You should see me at skeet shooting. Uh, there's nothing I like better than broiled skeet. Yeah, well, uh... Yeah? <laughs> I don't want no trouble with you, my little lady. I'm not yours, and I'm not little, but I am a lady. As a matter of fact, I'm a traveling salesman. Well, what's your line? Well, I sell pomade and goose grease. I also have a combination mustache cup and Tom and Jerry mug. Are you interested? Uh, no. <laughs> I'm more interested in you. Say, uh... Would you like to uh, to hear the story of my life? <laughs> now we're getting somewhere. No, but I'd like to write the next chapter. <laughs> well, it was like this, stranger. Yeah. I was born at a very tender age in a little town in the wilds of Brooklyn. There we were, oh, so comfy. Just my dear old pappy and me. Yeah. And one day I became an orphan. Oh. My dear old pappy was killed by a falling spade. Oh, a falling spade? Yes. Fell out of his sleeve. Wow. <laughs> What's going on here? Oh, good evening, Sharp. Is this the chef? Oh, what makes you doubt it? Well, you're the first sheriff I ever saw who put his shaps up in bobby pins. Yeah. <laughs> Look, McCarthy, I want to talk to you. Your place is getting a bad name for gambling. No. Yeah. They're playing roulette, pharaoh, and spin the bottle. With forfeits. Oh, please, yeah. not that last one. Yes. <laughs> and worse than that, they say your games are crooked. It ain't true, Sheriff. My games are strictly on the level. Yeah. I stop wasting my time. I'm busy. Well, what are you doing? I'm marking a deck of cards. <laughs> Bing! Never miss. Never miss. What's your name, gal? My name's Ermatrude. I was born at a very tender oh. age in a small town in the wilds of Brooklyn. Here we go again. After my dear pappy died, I had to go out and look for work. Days pass. Oh. Weeks pass. Oh. Months pass. Oh, I pass. <laughs> You're Neil. Oh, I missed. <laughs> Mind if I look around your place, McCarthy? 
Well, what's your fur, Sheriff? Well, they say two gun burgans in town. Two gun burgans? Yeah. Better known as Pompadour Pete. Oh, oh. oh, what's that? Well, it ain't popcorn, sister. Oh, protect me, Charlie, protect me. <laughs> Who's gonna protect me? Hey, McCarthy! Hey, McCarthy, Pompadour Pete and his gang are robbing your safe in the back room. Well, what's the matter, Sheriff? Why don't you get him? Oh, darn it, I gave him 24 hours to get out of town. Well, what are you gonna do now? They ain't gone. Well, I think I'll extend the time. The oh. trouble with you, Sheriff, is you're yellow. When you say that, smile, sister. All right, I'm smiling. I'd say you have jolly pretty teeth, haven't you? Oh, get it. I'll have to go in and get on myself. Oh, be careful, Charlie. They're liable to shoot you. Over my dead body. I talk too much. Come on out, Pompadour. Reach for the ceiling and bring your gang with you. Go here, I'll drill you. Oh, Charlie, you're so brave, but please be careful. All right, let me handle this. I'm the sheriff. Ah, uh, one more word out of you, Pompadour, and I'll let you have it. That's Graham. <coughs> I say, oh, boy, that's not the word, you know. Oh, Chef. Looks like I'll have to go in and clean out the whole bunch myself. But Charlie, you can't do that. There's a whole gang in there. Don't worry. I'll throw them out one at a time. Charlie, please let me go in with you. No, you stay out here and count them as I throw them out. <laughs> have you got it, sister? Yes. Okay, now, don't forget to count them, will you? Here I go. Oh, stop counting. It's me. <laughs> Burgett. Yes, Charlie? I just talked to Lou Costello on the phone. Uh, yes, how's he feeling? Well, he, he isn't. He's, uh, he's got laryngitis. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he's got what? Yes, he has. He's got what? Uh, laryngitis? No, no. <laughs> He's got uh, what you call hemogoblins. No, no. Uh, he's got. Uh, he has. He has. He's got. A, he has. Uh, he has a nasty attack of Laren. Laren. All right. He's got a cold. He's got a cold. Yeah, and he won't be here. Well, that's right, Charlie. So, what are you going to do? Well, I've always wanted to sing, so I'll tear off a concerta. Eh? <laughs> oh. I guess you won't have to sing, Charlie. No, you're not that desperate. No, 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 we're not. As a matter of fact, we have a very big surprise for everybody. Yeah? Yes. What? Mickey Rooney is here to pinch hit for Lou Costello. <laughs> Mickey Rooney's going to pinch hit for, for Lou Costello? That's right. Well, who's going to pinch Bud Abbott? Well, uh, <laughs> Bud Abbott. Never heard of him. Never heard of him. Nevertheless, here they are, Bud Abbott and his new Costello for a day, Mickey Rooney. <laughs> oh, 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 um, yum, yum. What's the matter, Charlie? Uh, you tired? Yes, I'm a little worn out, Bergen. Yeah, I see. That's what I am. I'm frazzled. <laughs> I've been working like a dog. Yes. While Daisy Lee took her day off. Oh, I see. You mean you uh, cleaned up the house on our cook's day off? Uh, yes. Well, that's nice of you. I, uh, well, I sort of rearranged the living room, see. Ah. Uh, it's more, I would say it's more livable now. More livable? Yes. Um, it's more uh, utterly distinguished. It is? <laughs> I imagine. <laughs> you know, you know how you used to come in at night and bump your knee against that chair, you know? Yes, yes. Well, I fixed that. I, I won't bump against it. No, no, no. Now you'll fall flat on your face over the umbrella stand. Oh, I see. <laughs> well, I hope, young man, that in moving all that furniture around... Yeah? You, uh, you didn't break anything, did you? Uh... Well, uh, what did you say? <laughs> I say I'm glad you didn't break anything. Oh, you're glad? Yes. Oh, then you didn't, uh... What? I mean, you haven't, uh, what? Uh, no, no. Oh, yes, 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 yes. yes. <laughs> you haven't been home, huh? Uh, no. You didn't notice. What did you, well, uh, so you did break something, huh? Well, I was, um... Well, out with it, young man, out with it. Uh, well, I'll tell you now. It wasn't anything that was important. Well, that's good. It was nothing at all. It was that old, you know, that old Chinese cuspidor that stands in a corner? Yeah, cuspidor. <laughs> uh, 
Chinese custard oil. Yeah, no, 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 no. Huh? That was a very rare vase. What? <laughs> I say that's a very rare vase. Vase? Yeah. You mean Vassy? No, no, no. <laughs> that's a vase. It's a vase? Yes. Since I broke it? No, 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 no. <laughs> well, what about it, Charlie? Well, Bergen? Yes. Draws yourself. Yes. What? <laughs> well, <clears throat> you might as well fars the fact. Yes, well, what happened? You didn't drop it, did you? Uh, no. See, I was dusting. I see. And uh, I dusted a hole in it. Oh, you did. <laughs> you realize what you've done, young man. That was a genuine Ming vase. Yeah. It was an heirloom. Heirloom? Yes. Vase is an heirloom? All right, now, wait a minute. An heirloom is passed on from father to son and from father to son. Yeah? Yes. What have I done to Charlie and the Carthy Jr.? <laughs> you don't understand, Charlie. Heirlooms are handed down from one generation to the next. Yeah? Yes, that's what's done. Oh. Well, this generation dropped it. I see. <laughs> this is terrible. I know a dozen antique collectors who would have been after that. Yes? Yes, they'd be tickled to death to get that piece. Well, there's enough for all of them now. Is that so? <laughs> Well, stop being so flip about it. At least you can do is tell me how it all happened. Well, you see, I was just sort of cleaning up the living room. Yes? I was rearranging the dust. Yes, yes. Go on. And uh, I sort of stepped on that new sling rug. No, no. What? Throw rug. Throw rug. Yes. And what happened? Well, it threw me. It threw you. I came to an untimely end table. Oh, Mr. Bergen. Yes. Mr. Bergen. Oh, yes, yes. Hello, Daisy. Yeah, well, did you enjoy your day off? Yes, I enjoyed it, but I was mad now. Oh, and what's wrong now? I takes a day off, and somebody sure makes a mess of that house. Uh oh. Mm. Well, tell me, Daisy, now what's wrong? What's wrong? Everything is hither and thither. Oh, it's hither and thither, is it? Yeah. What do you mean? Uh, well, you know, it's topsy and evil. Oh, I see. <laughs> <laughs> Uncle Bergen's cabin, that's what it is. Yeah. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, Mr. Bergen, please, you just have to stop messing up this house. After I go and get it all tidied up. Yes, but I didn't do it, Daisy. Charlie did it. That's right, that's right. That's nice, that's right. Hide behind the skirts of the child. That's right. All right. <laughs> oh, shame on you, Mr. Bergen. Don't you cast no aspirins on this boy. Aspirins, yeah. <laughs> if he says he's telling the truth, I believe him. Oh, you believe him. Uh, yes. She believes you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, she's new here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I see. Well, I'm awfully glad to hear that. Charlie, now, now, didn't you tell me you were cleaning and rearranging the house? Well, I wasn't exactly cleaning. I was searching. Oh, now it's searching. Yeah. What do you mean? Well, I like to have everything in order. Yes. And I know where everything is. Yes. Well, what's missing? Well... Daisy Lee baked a chocolate cake, and, well, well, I, I just couldn't find it. <laughs> you just couldn't find it. I looked all over. <laughs> that boy sure does like my chocolate cake. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, quit standing there and laughing at me. Where did you hide a darn thing? It ain't in the pantry, is it? No, it ain't. Dude, it is. Oh, well, it's uh, it, it is in the ice box. Is no, it? you're cold now. Yeah, I'm cold now. <laughs> well, let's see, chocolate cake. Uh, it wouldn't be oh uh, no, it wouldn't be in the cake box. No, sir. No, no, no. You're too smart for that. Uh, Why don't you try the sugar bean? Oh yeah. All right, it's in sugar then. No, it ain't that either. <laughs> Now, will you quit torturing me? Where did you hide it, Daisy? <laughs> I hid it in the washing machine. Yeah. <laughs> washing machine, huh? Oh, well, that's the way it goes. Uh, that's life, that's life. Ah, oh, well, now if you'll excuse me. And where are you going? Well, I... I don't know, just... Think I'll go home and rinse out a few pieces. <laughs> Well, Charlie, I've got a nice Christmas present for you next Sunday. What, what have you got, Bergen? Charles Lawton is going to be over. No, Bergen, not that, not that. Yes, now don't say that, Charlie. I think Mr. Lawton has a very pleasant surprise for you. Yeah? 
You mean he's not going to show up? No, Charlie. Huh? <laughs> 